I'm actually going to go off the board a little bit. I, I know we were all waiting uh, late yesterday to, to hear from uh, Tesla, but going to go off the board a little bit. I find NEO to be interesting, uh, quite honest with you. Uh, I, I think there's potential upside and there's the support, if you will, from the Chinese government. So just going to go off the board a little bit. But like you, uh, this is going to be an exhaustive week, but I'm looking forward to it. What okay, Neo, the, the the Chinese electric car maker, competitor to Tesla in some ways, its own company, and in, in certainly other ways. Lee, what sure. is it about Neo? I mean, this company kind of listen, it, you know, it gets its knocks. A lot of people are skeptical. Kind of came out of nowhere. What is it about Neo yeah. that you like? You know, so uh, I got a few gray hairs, and and I think about Toyota when I was a kid. <laughs> You've got the support of, uh, of of the government there, and and I think that means a lot. Uh, you were talking earlier in the show about the travel and actually just the, the car travel uh, and the way it's picked up uh, as compared back to 2019. There's a ton of opportunity in the market, in their home market, if you will. Uh, and I think that just bodes well for the company. In addition, uh, they're doing some work as it relates to power generation and, and getting vehicles charged up quickly. So I, I think that bodes well for the company long term. Yeah, I mean, really an interesting pick there, and the stock has done very well. I mean, obviously, if you bought it, well, I guess any time before now, you've made some money on it, at least. So you're obviously yeah. not interested in taking profits. You're going to ride this out. Exactly. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the pullback uh, that occurred, I think, presents a buying opportunity. Okay. Pull back, buy the stock. You can see it going back to last year, down a little bit. Very quickly, yeah. on a macro yeah. level, what's the most important thing to you? Earnings, guidance, the Fed? I, I, I think the Fed uh, standing pat is probably the most important thing. Uh, if we were to get a surprise from the Fed, and I do not think that's going to happen, but if we did get a surprise from the Fed, uh, I, I think that would not be good for the market. Uh, we're looking forward to President Biden's speech, but candidly, I, I think the idea uh, that uh, he's looking to raise taxes, the capital gains tax, uh, one, I don't think that if that were to come to pass, that the number would be uh, what's currently been floated out. But even if it does, I think when we look back at history in terms of what's happened with the higher cap gains rate, hadn't been that big of a deal long term. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.